Hi guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today we're going to explore spring options for KWA series rifles. So I just want to make a note on safety, whether I'm uh, disassembling, unboxing, chronoing, whatever it is I'm doing, I may always make sure I'm in a completely safe environment. So that means most of my videos, um, I'm always wearing eye protection uh, just to make sure that my eyesight stays safe, stays safe. Before I do that, I always make sure that there's no ammunition in uh, any of the mags or in the gun itself. I make sure that the mags are unloaded and unwound to make sure that nothing can happen with that. Obviously, if I'm chronoing, then I've absolutely definitely got my eye protection on to protect myself. I even make sure that my batteries are removed and out of the way so that I know I'm in the safe environment. I also make sure that there's nobody else around as well either, so I'm always in a safest possible environment. If you are working with airsoft stuff, please make sure you do the same. Hi guys and welcome back. If you do find this useful today, please do like and subscribe because you will be really helping me out. So this is part of a series of rif uh, videos looking at KWA rifles, uh, particularly the recoil ones, to look at the different options. Obviously, many thanks to Benji here for letting me use his TK45 to do various bits and pieces with and uh, uh, show different things off. I really appreciate it. Obviously, before we go ahead, to note safety wise um, you know any work I do is always done in a safe environment I make sure there's nobody around I make sure I've got the eye protection on that's suitable I make sure that the batteries are out and all that kind of stuff so if you're doing this kind of thing please do make sure you're in a safe environment as well so today excuse me today we're going to look at a couple of spring options now KWA themselves do a uh, CQ Breeze Spring specifically for their recoils because the recoil ones don't use the traditional AEG non-linear springs. They use a linear spring system. So what I've realised through working on these is that they use almost an identical looking spring to the Tokyo Marui uh, recoil shock system. So what I've done here is I've been to Eagle 6 or a retailer in the UK that make their own series of upgrade springs and I've bought uh, a couple of the higher FPS springs because I know that's quite a high uh, FPS spring that's in here already. So obviously we've changed the hot rubber and we've got it down to a, sort of about 390. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try, I've got an M130 and an M140 spring. Now these are M130 and 40 rated for the Tokyo Maruis, not for the KWAs. So I'm going to go and change uh, the 130 in and see what kind of FPS that gives me and then the 140 and see what kind of FPS that gives me just so we've got some extra possible options. So I'll be back in a second once I've fit the M130 to let you know how that's gone. So I've done the spring change now and I've uh, put in the M130 spring uh, that is meant for the recoil shock. Um, the only difference this has got from stock is that it's got the Prometheus Purple Air Seal book booking in as we did in the first video. Um, so that has actually given me 310 to 315 FPS. Uh, I had one shot that went to 320 but it was all in the range of 310 to 315 so that's um, you know as an option as a downgrade spring option that's actually pretty good I'm pretty impressed with that now their rating it for obviously a M130 spring should produce a lot higher FPS that could be down to um, the compression or just the setup of the gearbox and things the air seals and stuff but basically that spring um, in this setup has produced 310 to 315 FPS and that that was an average sort of taken over 15 shots as well there was only one that went up to 320 fps so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to drop that spring out and i'm going to put the m140 spring in and see where that puts us in terms of fps and then i'll come back in a second and update you on that so i've installed the m140 and i've crowed on chronoed it now I've done 15 shots and i'm consistently getting 320 to 325 fps so I'm fairly happy with that actually, it's, it's pretty decent that, and there's a downgrade option meaning that you don't have to clip springs because it's not the best thing in the world clipping springs. It means we've got an alternative option to be able to obviously chuck a spring in and adjust the FPS uh, and you know as we all know FPS is not everything, you know a good hop and uh, hop rubber and barrel will make up more than make up or makes a difference in terms of range. The FPS is more just about getting it there quicker. Um, so I hope that's been useful to you. Um, please do make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.